Hello, my name is David McDonald. I'm a professor at Queen's University in Canada and I'm the co-director of the Municipal Services Project, which is a collaboration of universities, uh, labor groups, social movements and NGOs doing research on public services. We spent a number of years criticizing the privatization and commercialization of water and healthcare and electricity and other public services. Our focus now is to look at alternatives to privatization. And we've just published a book called Alternatives to Privatization, Public Options for Essential Services in the Global South. And the focus of our research is to try and give more rigor to the debates about uh, what we mean by public and how we evaluate public. So the intent of our work is to try and better define the meaning of public. Is it the state? Is it community organizations? Is it labor groups? Is it NGOs? Is it some combination of these entities? And secondly, how do we measure a successful public service? Our position is that there is a need to challenge privatization and to celebrate publicness, but at the same time, our position is that we don't want to uncritically celebrate public. And so we're trying to figure out ways that we can investigate uh, the meaning of public and look at services on the ground through empirical research and better understand uh, whether a, a public service is being well run and how we measure that. And one of the ways that we've decided we want to measure it is by establishing some criteria around accountability, transparency, efficiency, sustainability, and concepts like the public ethos. And uh, so we've been looking at services, uh, not just in water, as I mentioned, but in healthcare and electricity throughout Africa, Asia, and Latin America, and trying to identify examples of good public services and to what extent they are operating well or not. And there is no such thing as a perfect public service, so we understand that some public services may operate uh, quite well in terms of accountability or public participation, but maybe they're not particularly efficient or particularly sustainable. And so we want to try and get a, a better handle empirically on uh, how these public services are, are being managed. And we're also looking at uh, instances where services have been taken back from the public private sector and been remunicipalized. We're looking at new forms of innovative public service. We're also looking at historical models of publicness uh, because it's not the first time that uh, privatization has failed. Many of these public services started off as private services over 100 years ago and were made public uh, through struggles in the late 1800s and well into the 1930s and 40s. And so we're looking at some of the historical experiences with making services public and trying to say what lessons can be learned from these uh, experiences uh, in the past and how can they apply today. But we're also interested in thinking outside the box and creatively about models of public services that haven't been attempted yet and uh, trying to think creatively about what do we want public services to look like in 20 years or 50 years. And this requires some creative, innovative thinking and we're talking to labor groups and social movements and government officials and so on about ways that we can think about making services public. So we see this as the start of a, a long debate and getting away from simply criticizing privatization. We know what we don't like, but starting a, a, a vigorous debate about what, we, what do we like? What kinds of public services are we trying to push for? And this is going to be a challenge and it's also probably going to challenge us uh, who are opposed to privatization about how we want to think about the public. And I think we need to be prepared for some quite vigorous debates and perhaps even divisive debates about where we see public services going. So we hope as academics to contribute towards the uh, grassroots struggle for a better public future.